moment that PCS becomes commercial, that will actually flatten out that, that price, the price needed to, to solve the issues. So there, it's, our price assumptions are actually a bit lower than what we see the IEA have. I think that's about $200 per, 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 uh, per ton. And ours are actually substantially lower than that, I'd say, because we believe it's a couple of Thank you uh, so much, Mother um, Alam, let me uh, turn to you. You have the responsibility of being the Director of Clean Energy and Carbon at Mazda. And uh, you are certainly doing cutting edge things. I have uh, such a, a great degree of admiration for what the UAE is trying to achieve and attempting to work on day in and day out in Mazda in the most adverse of conditions. Congratulations. Uh, for your effort, that of your colleagues, what tremendous strong leadership, what vision, what encouragement. Um, you are to be commended. But tell us more about how you come to the issue, please. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for your kind words uh, about the UAE and Mazda. Uh, well, to answer the question of, of why the UAE and the government, uh, the various initiatives is involved in the uh, green and the economy and that is fine. It's energy mix. Uh, the key to this question goes way back into uh, the history of uh, the foundation of the UAE. Uh, His Excellency the Minister talked about the vision of the late President, uh, His Highness uh, Shahzad Masufan al who always talked about the importance of uh, uh, sustainability and the importance of diversification of energy and sustaining the, the uh, welfare of the nation for the future generation and as well as the UAE has also demonstrated under his leadership and also under the current leadership as, as a nation that is uh, uh, chose to be involved and engaged. Uh, so the UAE is in this uh, 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 in the renewable energy business, in the, in the sustainability uh, of the state, uh, because it's a national transition for us, because we also uh, an energy player by background. We've uh, traditionally been a hydrocarbon producer, but we see the future has to have a, a, an energy mix that will involve not only clean fossil fuels but also other sources of energy. And we chose to start to act now and, and build our uh, knowledge base and, uh, and build an economy which is based on uh, multiple sources of energy. Uh, I sit with you here and I share the platform with uh, a number of colleagues here. I sit not only as, as a master representative or a UAE representative, but also I sit here as an international citizen. The country as a whole is responsible nation and is also concerned about the very same issues that the colleagues of the WWF or from the IEA talk about. The, the challenge of the climate change is something that we subscribe to. Uh, the rate of the temperature uh, uh, needs to be controlled within the two degrees. And in order to do so, we as a nation uh, chose to act and we've acted through multiple initiatives, one of them being Mosul. And, and uh, this particular initiative is initiative that takes care of human uh, human building, human capacity building to most uh, institute. Also uh, focuses on investments, also focuses on engaging in uh, in the technology uh, and pushing the technology in both in country and overseas through investments in the uh, renewable energy space. We have uh, flagship projects in Spain, in the UK whereby we've managed to really uh, push the projects towards the finish line. And basically, we are looking at bringing back those technology home and also allowing those technologies to be accessible to the rest on the planet. So, uh, I, I think the UAE is, is definitely uh, showing uh, great leadership in this space. We have uh, national targets. His Excellency talked about the 7% target of the renewable energy. The renewable energy has to be part of the energy mix by 2020. We have a broader target of 30% more power by 2020 which 7% is uh, going to come from uh, the source of uh, renewable. The UAE is twice blessed. We have resources under the ground, as well as uh, abandoned resources above the ground, such as solar. And uh, we are very much asking uh, with uh, uh, other players across the globe to learn, but as well as to uh, be able to translate this technology and bring them back home. Uh, among the other things that we're looking at is definitely and storage is, is a fundamental uh, uh, technology that uh, we subscribe to some of the remarks made by Philip from the IEA. Uh, I 
think IEA and this by 2050, uh, uh, the 20% reduction, at least in the states, to allow uh, the control of the race of company that will be coming through the application of CCS. Uh, we, we are going to the rally test just like Norway, and uh, we have a close ally and close partnership with Norway on this front, and we are also definitely uh, looking forward to deploying one of the early stage large scale CCS for this new country, uh, hopefully before. Uh, 2014-2015. So in summary,